One of these scientists was an Austrian inventor named Victor Schauberger. He was very instrumental in talking about creative ways of using fluid motion to generate propulsions. And a lot of it has to do with studying the way animals actually move through water or air. He looked especially on the trout standing still in a raging torrent and he thought of how can this fish stand still in this river and then he thought of how nature works and he stated it's not the animal itself it's air or water that moves this animal a fish does not swim it is swum and a bird does not fly it is flown so why can't we do this with machines move the air in a special way so that the vehicle is pulled, not pushed. Victor Schauberger. He developed a type of vortex engine, artificial tornado, as it were, where vortex activity and gyroscopic activity could be harnessed with liquids such as water or mercury. My grandfather, Victor Schauberger, made some big inventions. Inventions that lead uh, maybe back to ancient times. This is the so-called Repulsin or Repulsine in German. It was meant to be some kind of propulsion system. Mounted in a submarine or an aircraft vertically. To create a field Victor Schauberger called biological vacuum. And the aircraft or the submarine should be sucked into this field. The special shape of this device led to the story that Victor Schauberger is the inventor of flying saucers. At the time of its development, the Repulsion's inverse propulsion system seemed revolutionary. But Victor Schauberger believed he had rediscovered an ancient technology. Victor also refers to old Indian texts where he reads out of these texts that these old peoples, uh, they used some kind of flowing magnetism that allowed them to overcome gravity. According to early Sanskrit texts discovered in India, aircraft called Vimanas used a similar propulsion system thousands of years ago. Is it possible that German scientists viewed ancient texts like the Bhagavad Gita not as legendary myth, but as a source of historical and scientific fact? The Germans were the best Oriental scholars in the world, so they translated the, uh, the ancient text, uh, Sanskrit and later, into German. And the Germans studied these ancient Indian epics and were familiar with the ideas of Vimanas. And so by combining that with this Vortex technology and allegedly this crash disk from 1936 in the Black Forest, they then came up with their designs for these flying saucers.